Hello everyone, I am Dr. Farhat Ali and you are watching Dr. Square. Today, we are diving into an exciting new tool, Google Labs Workspace. In this video, I will show you how to activate it for free on laptop, desktop, even on your mobile. Plus, we will explore how you can use it to enhance your research presentation, creating engaging videos and even making a reading research article a breeze. So let's get started. So the first step is you have to type workspace labs sign up in Google. And when you hit enter, you will find out here are the some links that you will find out. The first link that appears in front of you, it's uh, workspace.google.com lab sign up. You have to find this link. If this link is not available or you couldn't find it, I am going to place this link under the description of this video. You can click on that link and you can open the page which will appear in front of you in this way, which is workspace.google.com slash labs dash sign dash up slash u slash three slash so this is the page that will be appeared in front of you and you have to scroll it down and make sure you have already login into your google account i have already logged into account which is not currently have the availability of google workspace labs and uh, i have to scroll down here you can see the consumer acknowledgement and uh, you have to click i agree if you want to receive and if you want that workspace labs would contact you you can click on this option then i acknowledge that i am 18 years of age or older so these are the three options that you have to submit and uh, when you will submit you will see that this page will be appeared in front of you. You now have access to workspace labs and you have to click on learn more option. So I'm going to click on this option right now. Uh, this page will appear in front of you, which is help center. You have to scroll it down and you will find out that number of option in Google labs workspace will be available for you. You can activate Gemini AI in Google chat, Google docs, Gmail, Google slides, Google Sheets, Google Meet, Google Drive, Google Videos, in Keep, Google Forms. If you want to activate Google Gemini free in all of these options, you have to go one by one in each of these options and you have to activate it. First of all, we will see that if you want to activate Google Gemini in Google Docs, what you have to do, you have to click on this option and here you will find out suggest text based on your prompt click on this option when you will click on this option you have to scroll down here you can see use ai to write something new click open your computer open a document on google docs i'm going to click on this option and a new page will appear in front of me i have to click blank document and here i have clicked it okay so a new page has been appeared in front of me and when you open a new page you will find out that this collaborate with Gemini in Docs option will appear in front of you. Have to select the got it option. And when you click on this option, you will see that a Google Gemini option has been activated into your Google Docs. If I'm going to select this whole thing, then here you can see magic sign. Help me write. If I want to change the tone, if I want to summarize it, if we want to rephrase it and what it will do, it can rephrase the whole document or even the if you have selected a page or even you have a selected a paragraph, I will recommend to select a paragraph because currently this whole feature is experimental. So it would be better if you want a good result, you can select a just simple paragraph or two paragraphs to rephrase it, summarize it or elaborate it. If something is not clear to you, you can select the elaborate option. It will elaborate the whole thing. So I'm going to click on the insert option. It will be added into the same file. And here you can see the previous paragraph is here and the new paragraph is here so you can write in your own words and then you can use this feature to you know make the uh, paragraph better or to rephrase it or if you want to you know change the tone of your whole paragraph you can choose the first option i am going to click on the formal option here and it will create a new paragraph for me so this is the feature that you can activate in your google account google doc account if you want to activate the same feature of Google Gemini in Google Slides, then it will help you to create the whole slides for you. Or if you have your slides before, and then you can use this feature to make the slides with your previous data. So I'm going to see that how you can activate this feature in some other forms, like if you want to activate in Google Slides here. So you have to click on learn how to create images based on the prompts. Every time when you will go to this option, 
it will ask you to collaborate with the Gemini option. I have already activated this uh, option in all of these things. So it will not ask me for all of these things again and again. But as you are doing it for, for first time, it will ask you to activate or collaborate with Gemini features. I'm going to click on blank presentation here. And uh, when this uh, presentation will open, you will see a sign of a star here. So it's asking to collaborate, make your images pop in slides. So I'm going to click on got it option. The same option you will receive with collaborate with Gemini option. When you will first time log into your Google workspace through this whole procedure. So I can create images. If I write a prompt here, I can also ask Google Gemini to create a slide for me. So suppose here, if I want to pitch an idea, I'm going to click this option and then hit enter. You have to write the prompt here. And if you have already a data set, or if you have already data for your slide, you can write your prompt here and you can paste your data in the prompt. So it will create a slide for you. So this is the feature that you can activate into your Google Slides. And uh, next we will see that how we can activate this feature into Google Sheets as well. If you want to make charts, graphs or tables. Okay, so the slide has been created. So I'm going to simply click on the insert button and this whole slide has been created. If you want to, you know, want to make some changes, more changes here, you can add the images with the help of AI. So this is the feature that you can activate into, into your Google PowerPoint presentation or Google Slides. So let's move to the next feature, which is uh, Google Sheets. And uh, I'm going to activate the same feature from here. Learn how to create tables based on prompts. So click on this option. You will see you have to scroll down google sheets option is here so i'm going to click in on this option so this whole page will appear in front of me so i'm going to click on blank spreadsheet option so here didn't ask me to activate or collaborate with gemini because i have already activated uh, this option in uh, google sheet uh, because you are doing it for the first time it will ask you to do it so i'm going to click on help me create a table so i'm going to ask create a table of ua market stock market here so let's see whether this whole thing can create a table or not it will take some time it depends on your internet speed that how easy or how fast you can get your response from google gemini in google sheets so here you can see google gemini has created table for me you can write any prompt that you want to do and if you have already some data here then you can use this feature to you know get some results if you want to ask the google sheets to write something for you or interpret the table for you then you can write the prompt here and it will help you to you know understand a table that you have already in your google sheets so these are the three features one is in google docs second google slides and now google sheets the last one feature that i want to show you you can uh, use some other feature as well and uh, here we have uh, google google drive feature you can use this feature to activate into your uh, google drive and uh, what it will do for you you can read now any document in your google drive in just a second if you want to know you know and uh, i want google ai google gemini to read this paper for me so it can create a summary for me okay so summary has been already been created i can ask create a summary here so create a summary you can ask some more questions even uh, when you write a first question here but first prompt here it will give you some more prompts more question uh, to understand this whole pdf that you have attached so suggesting something like what is the main objective of study you can click on this option the first option the first answer has been created by google gemini these all of the features are available totally free you can use them and uh, you can help yourself to you know read something to make slides for your research and you can use it for writing in google docs and uh, the last feature that i want to show you if you want to you know create a, a video through google gemini so you can go to google videos help me create when you will click on this option then you have to go to google vids option and uh, here you will see that uh, you can create google videos i have already created some videos with this thing so let's see that uh, how you can activate it so i'm going to click on this option 
here so you will see there is an option of create a new video plus sign here click on this option and uh, you will see it will ask you to you know you have to describe something and uh, i'm going to not describe anything but you can do and uh, you can you know help me create then you can give the templates record your voice here then you can upload it and it will merge all of these things into a proper video so i'm going to ask google gemini to create a video for me and uh, here let's see first it will create an outline for me and uh, you can create your own outline as well and uh, here you can add something if you want to like if here you can add your video uh, where you want to add your voice you can add it here if you want to delete something i'm going to click on the next button here here's a design and uh, i'm going to choose this design and uh, then it will ask me to create the draft video let me click on this option and uh, here the magic is working it will take some moments okay so the video has been created now i'm going to click on play button here so when i will click on this option and uh, as you can see here is the video that is created by google gemini you can use your own music your uh, you, you can use your voice and use your own videos that you want to incorporate and you can add the material or the written words according to your own need so this was the whole thing that how you can use google gemini in uh, labs workspace or google workspace i think you have liked this video do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching bye